welcome to the Synthetic Electron 3D channel. Today, I'm showing you the SE3D PCBWay fan adapter, developed with the Elegoo Centauri Carbon in mind, but it'll work with any 3D printer that uses JSTXH fan connectors or adapter cables. It lets you run your case and auxiliary fans at 24 volt or at a regulated voltage of your choice between about 5 and 23 volts, and it adds two more headers for expansion. Let's dive in. If you missed the first video in the series, I built a DIY version of this adapter using hand wiring and off-the-shelf parts. That laid the groundwork for this cleaner PCB version. I'll drop a link on screen if you want to catch up. Noise and airflow are two of the biggest topics around the Centauri Carbon. I designed a simple inline board to solve both adjustable voltage, extra fan headers, and true plug-and-play connections. I should say, I had actually been curious about PCBWay before they ever reached out to sponsor this video. This project gave me the excuse to finally try their service. Having never ordered a custom PCB before, I wasn't sure what to expect, but the whole process turned out to be really straightforward. You just upload your Gerber files, choose the board thickness, copper weight finish, and even the solder mask color, and that's it. A few clicks later, your design is in their system. When the boards arrived, I was genuinely impressed by the quality. The silk screen is crisp, the plating is clean, and the lead-free FR4 option feels solid in hand. For someone like me, sending off a design and getting back a professional board was a really cool experience. And it gives me confidence to start sharing these designs with the community, knowing they'll be easy for anyone else to order too. One tip, if you're sending a board to FAB for the first time, always run KiCad's design rule and electrical rule checkers before you export your files. That helps avoid surprises. For this project, I wasn't even sure which formats to use at first. Turns out PCBWay wants standard Exelon drill files for the vias and holes, and centroid or pick and place files for assembly. The good news is, even if you miss something, their engineers look over every order and will flag any issues that would block manufacturing. That made the process a lot less intimidating as a first time customer. Once I sorted out all the files that they needed and selected the lead free FR4 option, a few days later the boards arrived. I did make a mistake bundling some of the PCBs with the assembly service, which added more lead time than I expected. But PCBWay's customer service was great. They shipped some boards separately, so I'd have them in time for this video. So yes, assembly can extend the timeline, but they were responsive and flexible with my needs. I assembled this one with a Mini 360 buck regulator, JST-XH connectors, and jumpers. I also printed a new fan shroud in yellow polylight ASA, with updated hole spacing. The STL is up on my printables page. Polylight ASA is a great material to use for this application because of its high heat resistance. Plus, it arrives dry and ready to print cleanly in my experience. Polymaker did supply the filament for this video. If you'd like to learn more about them and their products, please use the link in the description. The board sits in line between the Centauri Carbon's main board and the OEM fan breakout. The Mini 360 is set to 12.5 volt, but you can set the jumpers to pass a full 24 volt through. Everything is fully reversible, no soldering, no splicing. Here's a quick demo. Flip the jumper and you're back to 24 volt pass through. It's as simple as that. And it doesn't have to be 12.5 volts. The Mini 360 can be set anywhere in its range, so you can adapt the printer's 24 volt down to whatever your fans need. 5 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt, even oddball voltages. I've chosen 12.5 volt here, which is within tolerance for 12 volt fans, so it's basically nominal 12 volt. This mount is just an example. You can mount the board anywhere, and it's not limited to the Centauri Carbon. If your printer uses JST XH headers or adapter cables, you can drop it in. I may also design printable enclosures or stick on mounts plus adapter cables for other printers like the Ender 3 V3SE or the Chidi-X Plus 4. Should I expand this or keep focus here? Tell me in the comments. I'm running a 60 millimeter fan in the original auxiliary intake spot. Now it's serving in parallel with the 80 millimeter case fan as an exhaust fan in this particular configuration that is. Both will ramp together in the firmware. So here's the takeaway. The Mini 360 is the limit on the regulated side, not the board. 
The pass-through meter exceeds the Centauri Carbon's OEM capacity. For fan class loads, the board simply isn't the bottleneck. Like my tool head cover, I've released this under a Creative Commons license. That means you can remix it, adapt it, and share improvements with the community. The tool head cover already has multiple remixes, and I can't wait to see what happens with this one. I've posted the Gerber files under a Creative Commons license, so you can order them from PCBWay as shown, or you can modify them for your own use. The updated ASA Shroud STL is on printables. A huge thanks to PCBWay for manufacturing support. If you have your own project similar to this one, don't forget to check PCBWay out. Link in the description. I'll keep testing airflow mixes, noise reduction, and I might even design enclosures so this board can drop into more printers. Also, due to popular demand, we're going to have a tool head cover remix roundup in the not too distant future to showcase how the community has expanded on my original design. If that sounds interesting to you, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. Thank you.